So let's try factorizing with a difference of two squares. So what do I mean by a difference of two squares exactly? Say we have a plus b times a minus b, and we're going to expand the brackets here, and we'll get a squared minus b squared, because this minus a b and plus a b cancel out. And we get a difference of two squares, because a squared minus b squared. So when we have something like this, we can factorize it to be something like this. I'll give you uh, another example here. So we've got x plus 5 times x minus 5. If we were to expand the bracket, the middle terms here cancel out and we'd get x squared minus 25. So this could be written as x squared minus 5 squared. This is a difference of two squares. So the idea is, is when we have something along these lines and we are asked to factorize it, we recognize it's a difference to two squares and we can put it into this form here. So let's have some examples. Let's factorize x squared minus 36. So what we're going to do is we're going to recognize that x squared is a square, 36 is a square, it's a difference, we've got a difference of two squares, so it could be rewritten as x squared minus 6 squared, or more fully, it's x plus 6 times x minus 6. How about this one, x squared minus 64? x squared is a perfect square, and 64 is a perfect square, which is 8 squared. We're subtracting, so it's a difference of two squares, and we can write it as x squared minus 8 squared, fully x plus 8 times x minus 8. Again, just another example, we've got x squared minus 100, so we've got 10 squared for the 100. Difference of two squares says it's x squared minus 10 squared, Therefore, we can write it as x plus 10 and x minus 10. Same with this one. We've now got a coefficient in front of the x squared. We can say 81x squared is 9x all squared and 16 is 4 squared. So we can still write this as a difference of two squares. It would be 9x all squared minus 4 squared and fully expanded, uh, sorry, fully factorized would be 9x plus 4 times 9x minus 4. Similarly, with this one, we've got 100x squared minus 81y squared. Difference of two squares, because 100 is 10 squared and x is x squared, 81 is 9 squared and y is y squared. So we can f factorize this using the difference of two squares. So we've got 10x all squared, take away 9y all squared, just like this. Writing this out, is 10x plus 9y times 10x minus 9y. How about this one? This one can be um, a little bit tricky. People can trip up. So we've got 25x squared minus 100. So you might be tempted to say 25, that's 5 squared. So we could say that is the same as 5x all squared, take away 10 squared. And you wouldn't be wrong. That is correct. You could write it out like this. But this isn't actually fully factorized because we can still take out a further common factor. Let me explain. Let's take this 25x squared minus 100. We can factorize this so we can take out the 25 as a factor and put it in front of the brackets. And what we're going to be left with in the brackets is x squared minus 4. Inside these brackets it's a difference of two squares. So we can say that x squared is x squared minus 4 is 2 squared, so we're going to have 25 outside the brackets, x squared minus 2 squared, and fully it's going to be 25x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay, so in the next video we're going to have more practice taking out a common factor before applying the difference of 2 squares factorization, but if you've got up to this point then very well done, this takes a bit of practice to get used to, but you've got to recognise that when you're given a form a squared minus b squared, it can be rewritten as a plus b times a minus b. All right.